Hello. This paper is about the ethics of possible future CT-DNA-based multi-cancer screening. Cancer is a public health problem and most cancers are only detected at a stage where treatment options have limited effectiveness. Population screening aimed at finding cancer at a pre-symptomatic stage may enable timely treatment. However, there are many different kinds of cancer and only for some of those has it so far been possible to develop screening strategies for use in non-patient populations. Against this background, the concept of universal or multi-organ cancer screening based on easily accessible tumor markers in the circulation may well be revolutionary. This approach would allow simultaneous screening for, in principle, all types of cancer at pre-symptomatic stages using a minimally invasive blood test. A promising marker for such screening is circulating cell-free fragments of tumor DNA. These are shed into the circulation during tumor cell turnover. Several blood test, blood-based multi-cancer early detection tests, MCED tests, have recently been developed but still need validation in large-scale studies involving non-patient populations. While this research is still in the test validation phase, it is important to also proactively consider the ethical aspects of this development. In our discussion of these issues, we refer to the internationally accepted framework of principles for responsible screening as first drawn up for the World Health Organization by Wilson and Jungner 50 years ago and further developed and fine-tuned ever since. When applying these criteria, it is important to be aware that cancer is not just one disease and that not all findings will therefore have the same clinical utility. As forms of multi-disorder screening have been introduced in other contexts, the ethical analysis may connect to relevant earlier debates about how to deal with specific challenges of optimizing the benefit-to-risk ratio of such forms of screening. As we argue, the traditional framework for responsible screening still seems to provide useful guidance in this respect. Thank you very much.